The makers of Wrigley's Spearman Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carol Vash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. As you know, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is giving daily enjoyment to millions of people all over America, in offices and factories, on farms and ranches, in mines and oil fields. Folks find that chewing Wrigley's Spearmint helps them feel better and work better. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum are glad that their product is proving helpful and enjoyable to so many people, and they're glad, too, that they are able to bring you Life with Luigi, because they know it's the kind of a radio program that millions of Americans enjoy. And now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes about his adventures in America to his Mama Basco in it. Dear Mama Mia, if this letter sounds a horse, it's because I get a little cold. But don't worry, I'm very happy because this is Sunday, May the 20th, is a big day in the United States. It's called I Am an American a Day. Because I'm not got my citizen of papers yet. So for me, is it going to be, I'm one to be American today. I know why not, the Mamma Mia. It's a 48 states here, and they all are working together to give the people what they need. For instance, the man catches the fish. Idaho grows the potato. Kansas gives the corn, Minnesota the wheat, and Texas takes all of the credit. <laughs> Here, Mamma Mia, everybody works the harder, tries to be good a citizen, obeys the laws, and if there's something that he don't understand it, then he can write to his congressman. Sure, I'm going to write to my congressman at once, asking him, he should explain it to me about the social security. Six months later, he's sent to me a beautiful four pound book about the care and the feeding of a pig. <laughs> but Mamma Mia, it's, it's, it's nice to have a congressman, and someday I'm I'm going to help to elect a congressman. But I'm going to hardly wait for that the big day when they're going to let me vote. I'm going to walk in the little boot with a four pencils and a vote for everybody. <laughs> anyway, like I'm going to start to write to you, this Sunday is going to be a big celebration in Chicago and Lake Shore. And now I'm going to my night school class where Miss Spalding, my teacher, is going to tell us what are we supposed to do to take a part in the I Am American A Day celebration. America, I love you. You like a papa to me. From ocean to ocean. All right, lads, quiet, please. Now I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Present. Mr. Harwick? Present. Mr. Olson? Present. Mr. Schultz? Howdy dowdy. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Schultz. Ah, smile, Miss Farley. Be happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Now, class, since this Sunday is I Am an American Day, I ask you to study in your civics book the chapter on what makes a good citizen. Now, uh, yes, Mr. Bassel? Uh, Miss Farley, uh, we all are going to get to the park to watch you this ceremony. Oh, yes, we're meeting at noon at the main entrance. Incidentally, I have a surprise announcement to make about that right after class. Now, I was bothering. Yes, Mr. Bass. Do you think it's going to rain this Sunday? I, I hope not. Now, in our civics lesson class, I was... What's this, uh, the biggest surprise in this puzzle? Mr. Basco, will you let me finish my sentence? When Luigi gets curious, a life term I couldn't finish his sentence. <laughs> <laughs> you have to hold your questions until later, Mr. Basco. Now, getting back to citizenship, who can tell me how a person becomes a citizen? Mr. Horowitz, will you tell us? With pleasure. You can become a citizen by waiting five years and getting your papers. Or, if you're in a hurry, you can get born here, and that automatically makes you a citizen. <laughs> well, that's rather a quaint way of putting it. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Uh, now, who can tell us some of the qualities of a good citizen? Mr. Basco? Well, uh, uh, a good citizen takes care of a citizen of papers. No, no. It keeps them in a drawer. No, Mr. Basco. All right, I'm a keeper in the vault, but every Monday morning I'm going to take a little peek. <laughs> uh, Miss Spalding, it is becoming rather apparent that you are running into difficulty. 
May I volunteer the correct answer? Olsen, why don't you volunteer for the Foreign Legion? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Schultz, please. Go on, Mr. Olsen. The qualities of a good citizen. Yeah. A good citizen always obeys the laws of the government. He always exercises his rights under the Constitution. Go on. Uh, furthermore, a real genuine citizen understands the general workings of his government, and he keeps himself informed. And what else, Mr. Olsen? Uh, well, uh, he, he's a good father. He, he stays the home nights with his family. He keeps out of trouble. He doesn't drink or gamble. And twice a year he diamondizes his halo. <laughs> So funny. Mr. Schultz, suppose you add to Mr. Olsen's list of duties of a good citizen. Oh. Miss Spalding, if a citizen does everything what Olsen said, he won't have time left for my list. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Schultz, you can't joke yourself out of this one. You should be ashamed of yourself. You've lived here all these years, you have your citizen papers, and yet you can't tell us... Oh, wait, wait, I... I know, I know. A good citizen. Uh, a good citizen, uh... A good citizen. Miss <laughs> Pauline, maybe I'm not a good citizen. <laughs> of course you are, Mr. Schultz. I'm sorry for what I said. You're all wonderful citizens. And you'll be pleased about this special announcement about this Sunday's I Am an American Day. What is oh, your what you what Well, what as you know, there'll be 15,000 people assembled in the park as well as all the public schools. And this class has been selected to sit on the speaker stand. Oh, that's oh, wonderful. What's you know, what, 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 what the reason? Well, I thought it was a lovely reason. This class represents the oldest school children in the city. <laughs> <laughs> you mean we're the oldest school kids? Uh-huh. Last one in the social security line is a half man. <laughs> <laughs> and I might add, with the youngest spirit. You're not the last spirit at all. Well, class, that's the surprise, and I think it'll be a wonderful experience for you. Especially when you consider that the principal speaker will be a judge from Washington, D.C. Oh, oh. Judge Hal B. Reeves, and he's flying in especially from Washington. Mamma mia, we're going to be sitting with a judge on a speaker's platform. Oh, when the first party hears about this, he's really going to get excited. The reason, the only thing that would excite for Charlie would be if the judge was a justice of the peace. <laughs> Maybe so, sure, sir. But I'm sure Pasquale would be interested in a big Washington judge like a Hal B. Ribs. Only if he's single. <laughs> You with the eating and Luigi with that, I'm an American today. I'm never going to make a match. I gave Luigi two tickets to take you to the movies the last night. What did you see? Up front with Willie and Joe. I hope you sat up a back with Luigi. <laughs> For three hours. <laughs> <laughs> For three hours, Dad. Did Luigi hold your hand? He couldn't, Papa. Couldn't? Or why not? What was he doing between you and Luigi? He was holding the popcorn. <laughs> what am I going to do? Rosa, what's more important to you? Love, the marriage, and the kids, or just the eating? Don't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're telling me, little bambina. When Luigi brought you home the last night, did you kiss him? No, Papa. Is that so true? What do you think? I got to kiss him? <laughs> Here, it's a Friday already. I thought you could talk him into taking down that picnic this Sunday. Now he's all tied up with the American a day in the park. Trouble with that a boy is so full of American that a patriotism, he's got no time to think about a marriage. <laughs> if only I could have figured out a way to make him feel small and no good and not wanted. Then he's liable to come crawling the back of here. Let me see. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Rose, I think I got an idea. Oh, 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 I hate it to be this mean. But what are you going to do when you got a daughter weighs a 250 pounds? <laughs> oh, hello, hello, Pasquale. Hello, little banana nose. 
好了，老师。<laughs> Luigi, I was gonna bother you about going on a picnic with Rosa this Sunday again, but、uh, now I can't because、uh, guess what's happened? I don't know what. The... I just got a telephone call from your night school. Ooh, what a big honor! Honor? Yes. And at first they thought that Judge Halaby Reeves was gonna be the only speaker of the day. Uh huh. But now it seems like it's gonna be another one. Gonna be another one, huh? Who's it gonna be? You. Me? You mean me speaking in front of fifteen thousand people for squally? How you know that? From a Mrs. Spalding herself. Yeah, but 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 why me, Pasquale? Why?、Uh, well.、Uh, The people have decided you're going to get your citizen of papers in two years, so they name you future American in 1953. You got to give a speech on how much you want to be an American. But if I spell it, don't it seem possible? I'm sure to get it, such a big honor. Speak on the same platform with a judge of Ives. What am I going to do? Well, Luigi, the two you ain't going to play canasta. <laughs> <laughs> you happy little pumpkin head? <laughs> But if I spell it. I, I, I'm a don't know what to say. I'm a just a coming from school and Miss Spalding. She's telling me nothing. Well, that's because she's smart. She didn't want to make shirts and the rest of them were jealous. Ask her also if you don't believe me. Oh no no no! I, I believe you, Pasquale. But Mamma Mia, future American of 1953. It's 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 hard to believe. Then I call up Miss Spalding. But there's no school for the weekend, and I'm not got Miss Spalding's telephone number. And I'm not going to see until the Sunday in the park. What was going on? What what kind of speech am I going to make? Luigi, I see your big problem. And naturally, for fifteen thousand people, it's got to be very important. You ain't just going to read it from a paper like it was nothing. You got to memorize it between your head. Memorize it? Yeah, but it's a Friday night. I'm only got until a, until a Sunday. So what if you stay up a couple of nights? That's an okay, that's a free. As long as the people see your speech, it comes from the heart. Look, Luigi, don't worry. I'm gonna help you out with the speech. Oh, you will, Pascal. Sure, little cabbage pussy. <laughs> I'm always ready to help you out with any information I got. You know, I can squeeze the facts out of my hand like a sponge. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Pascal. You biggest sponge head I know. <laughs> That's a funny thing. When I'm excited, it's to come out a different. <laughs> anyway, Luigi, I was thinking of such a big day. You got to start out a very big, like、uh, distinguished gatherers of this steam assemblage. What? Hey, Pasquale, what does that mean? I don't know. I heard it once at a stag party. <laughs> But it's a very important distinguished gatherers of this steam assemblage. But well, if I'm gonna write a speech like that, I'm gonna have to step every minute from an hour till Sunday. But it's worth it, Luigi. You're important, man. I'm. Yeah, I, I guess I am, huh? Oh, now go, go, go to your store. Start thinking. I'm gonna come in later in the house. All right, the Pascal. And a goodbye and a thank you. We have this thing to gather. Have a this, this, this steam to Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, am I gonna get even? <laughs> Wait till he spends two nights with that speech and finds out I made a fool out of him. <laughs> Future American in 1953. <laughs> He's gonna feel like the biggest adult for 1951. <laughs> Before we return to life with Luigi, we'd like to say a word about chewing enjoyment. When you're busy at your job or working around your home, it's really satisfying to chew on a smooth, delicious piece of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. That good, easy chewing goes right along with your work, helps keep you feeling right, and makes the job seem easier and pleasanter. The refreshing, long-lasting flavor of Wrigley's Spearmint adds to your enjoyment and gives your mouth a fresh, clean taste. So enjoy chewing Wrigley's Spearmint Gum while you work. Get a few packages from the handy display on your friendly merchant's counter. And now let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. 
And so, mamma mia, you're not going to believe what the big honor your son Luigi's got. I'm going to speak before 15,000 people today in the park. Yes, right. They made me future American in 1953. And for two days and nights and I'm had no sleep. But it was a wait, mamma mia, because I'm got a wonderful speech prepared with a beautiful big word. Oh, mamma mia. I'm, I'm a hope I say everything good because I'm a feel like our chicken Josephine when we was a took her to the fair and she's lost the egg lay in the contest. Yeah, she was a so nervous she's a drop everything. <laughs> <laughs> well now I'm waiting in the pocket for my friends. Here I am over here. Oh, no, Luigi. Uh, <laughs> Did you ever see so many people packed together? It's just like Coney Island without sand. <laughs> uh, where's the rest of the class? Well, I, should, I, I guess they're going to be here any minute. Uh, Mamma mia, I'm, 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 I'm so nervous. Nervous? What have you got to be nervous about? Because we are sitting on the platform? <laughs> Listen, if they start throwing things at the speaker, you got plenty of time to duck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Well, I'm missing on this thing that she got is of important as somebody. Huh? Qualifications of the judge. What's the matter, Luigi? You sound like a politician who was caught with his hand in a voter's pocket. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sir. You're going to find out as soon as so. So I'm a better tell you anyway. I'm speaking it today. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear that, Luigi. What's the matter? You had laryngitis? You couldn't speak the last two days? <laughs> no, I'm not sure, sir. Besides the judge, I'm going to speak it too. Ach, Luigi, that's ridiculous. <laughs> no, 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 is it true, Schultz? I was selected as a future American of a 1953. Yeah, Luigi, don't be... Hello, 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 where did you ever get such an idea? Yeah, yeah the, the whole thing sounds like a joke. No, no, it's not a joke, is it? Is it true? <laughs> Miss Balding is not told you well. She's not told you because uh, she's in the one I hurt you feeling. So I'm going to spend two days and two nights uh, learning my speech about a distinguished assembly that's... The way you stop! I think maybe you are a little for shimmered. <laughs> Jokes. Maybe Luigi is right. Maybe Miss Paulding... Ach, had... stop, Horowitz. Our little Wiener Schnitzel has got the delusions of the brain. Well, well, well here comes Miss Paulding. She will settle it. Hello, everybody. Hello, oh, Mr. my. Paulding. Don't we look nice and dressed up? Oh, thank, thank you. you. Miss Paulding, please, tell him, huh? And I'm supposed to make a speech to here today. What? Huh? Miss Paulding, Luigi thinks he's supposed to make a talk. Memorize the whole speech. As far as I know, Mr. Basco, the judge is the only speaker on the program today. Uh, Luigi, who, who told you you were supposed to speak? What's that? That was the first time. Miss Bolling, here's the study. You picked me because I'm a future American of 1953. And, I, and I'm going to make a speech before all the people. So I think Mr. Pasquale was just pulling your leg. Pulling his leg? He just twisted it all. <laughs> <laughs> No, sure, sir, you're not a friend of mine. You're not a friend of mine because you're glad to see me suffer like this. Luigi, don't talk like that. Don't go. No, no, no. All of you, you're not my friend. I'm a gone, and I'm never, I'm never coming back to tonight's school again. No, no, wait a minute. Hold it the hand on. Oh, you ain't moving, Luigi. No, no, no. Let me go. I'm sorry if I made a joke too much, but don't blame me for what was quality. Yeah, but, but it's there. Day and the night, I'm, I'm, I'm a study this speech. I'm going to sit. Well, you are coming to the house. No, 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 I'm not going to sit on a flight. Oh, please, Mr. Bass. No, let me go. No, I'm going to want to go home. I'm going to want to see nobody. Because I'm, I'm a disgrace to myself. All oh, right, Luigi, you are for it. I'm going to carry it. Just put me down here. Put me down here. Put me down here. You feel better now, Mr. Bassett. 
Luigi, Miss Spaulding is talking to you. You see, Mr. Schultz, how you have to be careful with your humor sometimes? Yeah, I wish there was some way I could make it up to him. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a disappointing announcement to make. At this time, our guest, Judge Hal B. Reeves, was supposed to address you. However, his plane has been delayed. It, uh, it seems, therefore, that it remains for me to close the meeting. We will therefore rise and all together say... Wait, 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 wait. wait. Mr. Schultz, Mr. Schultz. Sure, sure, why not? Uh, Mr. Schwieger, uh, we got it here, a fella who could give your speech better than that Washington judge ever thought of making. Uh, no, no, sure, sir. Sure, sir, what are you doing? No, no, listen, listen, everybody. This fella, you studied his speech for days now. Now, what do you say? You're going to hear a speech from one of the gang, one of us? Oh, you want to go home? You better get up there, Mr. Basco. I know you can do it. Well, I'm a... All right. Yeah, sure. I present our speaker, Mr. Luigi Basco, from the Spalding's class in the North Halstead Street Night School. Extinguished... Extinguished gather is... I'm in a distinguished gossipism. <laughs> I'm in, I'm a, I'm in a, Friends, I'm a scared. <laughs> you know, believe it, but for the two days and the two nights, I'm a stay up to memorize the speech and, and now I'm a forget everything. All I'm a can think of now is, is a boat. It's almost a three years ago and and I'm coming to America in that boat. America. Then we pass Statue of Liberty. Beautiful lady of a peace. And I could hardly wait to get off of that boat. To hear somebody speak English. And then the boat is a duck. And I'm run down to the gang of plank. And then I'm never forget it. Was a little boy playing. And I'm heard the, my first American words. Bibbidi babbidi bo. I'm I don't know what that means, but but now I'm a no. Rigadoshin and a shinamarosha. Yeah, that's right. Put them all together, and and what do you got? American. I laugh and I sing. That's America. Work and I play. That's America. Joke how you want. The speaker how you want. That's America. Americans, don't let nobody tell you. You can't say what you want. You can't vote how you want. Because then, then you change America. And when you do that, people like me, we become Americans. But we say, is no more America. And now I, I want to, well, I'm, uh, thanks for letting me make a speech. I, I, Ladies and gentlemen. Well, Luigi, you made a fine fool of yourself. Everybody was so insulted with that ibbity bibbity talk, they wouldn't even applaud. Yeah, I know, I know, Pasquale. Now, maybe you know enough to stay in your own backyard and stop this Patrick or Henry stuff. Now, please, Pasquale, let me alone. If you was with a Rosa and the picnic, you would be singing and dancing instead of wanting to kill yourself. Luigi, Luigi was just wonderful. I never heard anything like that. Now, please, sure, so you don't have to say nothing to make up and to make me feel good. I know it was a terrible... What are you talking about, Luigi? I just talked to my wife, Esther. She said the people in the audience was crying. Oh, Luigi, and, and after your speech, they, they were so quiet you could hear a pin drop. A pin? You could hear a cough drop. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Basco, I'm proud of you. No, please. Oh, please, friends. Are you, you're really friends. 
I'm sorry I talk like I did before, but I know I was a big fool over my speech. Now, can I go home? Uh, Mr. Vasco, may I express my deepest gratitude to you for your remarks? Huh? I never saw such a demonstration. That audience was so touched they couldn't applaud. Please, I know I was a bigger failure. There was another man who thought his speech had failed, Mr. Vasco. It was a Gettysburg. Just a moment ago, you may have heard one man applaud here backstage. I was that man. You? Who are you? Uh, judge, judge, the audience is waiting for you, sir. Oh, oh that's a judge. Help me, Reeves. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry I was delayed, but I'm happy because it enabled you and me to hear from a speaker far better equipped to make you feel the meaning of this day. I can only say it took an Italian immigrant, a Mr. Luigi Basco, to make me say today, I am proud that I am an American. He's proud. I had a He's speech a prize. prepared. He's proud. Proud. Well, Mamma Mia, what I thought was going to be one of the worst days of my life, who was it turned out to be the best? After the part, I'm going to come home and read the Gettysburg Address. I'm like the best. Well, Lincoln has said, this government is of the people, by the people, and for the people. And to show you how some people not can change, I'm going to show this to Pasquale and he's said that. That's right, Luigi. And if you want something that's of the people, by the people, and for the people, I'm going to just do what you want, my daughter Rosa. <laughs> to your lovely son, Luigi Basco, little immigrant. Friends, the makers of Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi, and they want to remind you that Wrigley Spearmint Gum is a refreshing, tasty treat that's easy to carry with you wherever you go. Just slip a package into your purse or pocket, then, whether you're working, shopping, walking, or riding in a bus or car, you're always set to enjoy the refreshment of a stick of Wrigley Spearmint. It cools your mouth, freshens your taste, and gives you real chewing enjoyment and satisfaction. Next time you go to the store, remember to get a few packages of healthful, delicious Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum and always carry a package or two with you. The makers of Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is directed by Norman MacDonald. Mac Benoff writes the script with Lou Dermott. J. Carol Nash has starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Mary Ship as Miss Balding, Joel Forte as Horowitz, and Ken Peters as Olsen. Music is under the direction of Lud Gluskin. Bob Stevenson speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs>